Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, my name is Georgie. Um, so today I'm just going to be showing you how to get this no foundation makeup routine. It's nice and glowy, nice and summery. It's perfect for that kind of your skin but better, no makeup makeup. Well, it, it does look like you're wearing makeup but not much. You know, you can see your skin through it kind of look. I love this for when I go on holiday and it's super hot and I don't want to wear loads of makeup. I love it for when I don't have loads of time to get ready and I'm just going out because I feel like it makes you look put together but, you know, it doesn't take four hours to get ready kind of thing. It only takes me about 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys because I feel like I finally, finally perfected how to do this and how to make it look seamless and last all day. So without further ado, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more content from me, like to let me know that I'm doing something right here and yeah, just um, let's get into the video. started um, so first we want to prep the skin which is so important um, just to make sure that you're moisturized that you have a nice glowy base for something like this where your skin will be showing through your makeup and it's not going to be such a full coverage look so first off I just like to start by putting a little bit of hyaluronic acid on my skin and for people that don't actually know that much about like skincare and makeup, acid obviously sounds really scary to be putting on your face, but it's not at all. Hyaluronic acid is an ingredient that is in a lot of skincare products. I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% with B5, which basically just moisturizes the skin and makes it look really nice and glowy. Just taking a couple of pumps and rubbing it into the face. Okay, so after that's all blended into the skin, you can see um, it just gave me a little bit of a nice glow to the skin. So we're just gonna add some moisturizer now because you have to moisturize before you put on makeup. Like, I actually can't put on any makeup without moisturizing. So I like to use this one from Garnier, which is the Moisture Bomb Antioxidant Super Moisturizing Gel Cream. Wow, okay. So it just looks like this. Um, and it smells really nice, but I actually use quite a lot of this. Um, and I just dot it on the face and rub it into the skin. Sometimes I use my hands, sometimes I use a brush, but anything will do. So for the first kind of primer for our skin, I like to use a combination of MAC strobe cream and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So what I do is I just take um, a little bit of each on the back of my hand, just because I feel like if I use strobe cream by itself, it's too pale for my complexion and kind of gives me a greyish hue to my skin, which I definitely don't want. So I'm just shaking this one adding a little bit of that Becca one as well. And then I just like to mix it all together and apply it with a duo fiber brush. This one's from Sigma. Just because duo fiber brushes do tend to absorb a little bit of product, so it's not completely caking on layers of things before I actually lay the concealer. So I just like to rub it in to the places around my face where I will definitely want some glow and down the neck. The only area I try to avoid is the uh, T-zone, so like the center of my face un under my under eyes here, just because that's kind of where my pores are the largest. Um, and anything that glows or highlights emphasizes those pores so I just take it all around the face, down the neck and on the forehead. 
Okay, and once that's all rubbed in, we just now need something to help out my texture and pores that are kind of just in this area by my nose here because that is something that I am a little bit insecure about with my own skin. But for that, I do like to take the Milk Makeup Blur Stick Primer, which I just literally take the smallest amount of. You really don't need that much. And I just like to almost tap it in to the areas where I feel as if I have some problems. So as you can see, I had a little breakout around my chin earlier in the week and it is just going down now. So if I have a little breakout, I do like to pop a little bit on as well just to smooth over the skin. Okay, so now our skin is all primed and glowy and ready for a little bit of makeup. Um, I first like to go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So this is just a peachy shade corrector for darkness. And because my under eye circles and my darkness around my eyes is something that I tend to focus on the most, even when I'm wearing the least amount of makeup, that's kind of my prime concern. So that is something that's subjective to you, whether it's redness around your nose or, you know, on your cheeks. So I just take a little bit of it on my Morphe E30 brush and I'm just tapping it under my eyes and concentrating it right on this inner portion here where I feel as though my darkness is the worst. And then I just go over that with my damp beauty sponge. This is just a black beauty blender, but any sponge that you guys like will do. Can you see the difference between this eye that's been corrected for and this one? It just kind of adds that brightness already underneath the concealer so we don't have to add loads of layers and layers of concealer and hopefully our makeup won't look cakey. So I am actually going out for dinner tonight to quite a fancy restaurant. Um, my dad just came back from India so I don't know we just wanted to like go out and celebrate him coming back because yeah he doesn't like going away so need to look nice and summery and glowy. So firstly for concealer, as this is a no foundation look, we will just be using concealer on certain areas of the face. I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Now this is a little dark for me at the moment just because I'm not usually this pale. Like I know it's summer holidays and everything but I'm not due to go away until August so I'll be super tanned and this will be probably even too light for me once I come back because I do tan quite easily. Um, so right now this is just going to be the first initial concealer that we lay down to get rid of any darkness that that corrector didn't get rid of and then we will use a little bit of a lighter one to even it all out. So I think the key kind of idea with this makeup is to really like just not use that much. I know the temptation for like, um, you know, just layering on concealer to try and get rid of things that we don't like um, is so tempting, but I'm literally only taking this concealer where I think I need it, which is so subjective again. So that's my darkness under my eyes, any blemishes and breakouts that I'm having. So on my chin right now, um, sometimes I do have a little bit of unevenness on my forehead. So I've just put a tiny bit up there. I get some redness around my nose. That is literally all I'm gonna put on for that concealer. So then what I'm gonna do is just take my damp beauty sponge again and gently pat this in. I don't wanna be using swiping motions just because it does disturb the product a bit more I feel and also take away some of the coverage. So because we are using less product we want to maximise the coverage from the product that we're using. So just really, really lightly dab that into the skin. 
Okay, so I just blended all of that one in and now we're going to go in with a lighter one just to kind of brighten up our complexion a little bit because that one was, as I said, a little bit dark for my skin tone. So I'm just going to take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which is really, really affordable. It's like £4 um, in the shade C6, which is like quite light for me, as you'll probably see there. Um... And I just take it again, or I think I need a little bit of coverage. I'm just going to put the tiniest amount down the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my chin and forehead. And the tiniest, like, excess amount that's on the applicator just over my cheeks because I don't have that much redness, but I do just have a little bit of pigmentation that I'd like to cover up. So again, just blending that all in with my sponge. So I don't know if you can see on my nose, but I do like to kind of use some eyebrow tint to just add a few freckles on my natural skin. It only lasts a couple days, but this technique, if you do have natural freckles or beauty marks that you'd like to, you know, peep through, this is a great technique to use for that because it's a your skin but better kind of look. Okay, so concealer is on and obviously we're probably looking a little bit pale right now. So we do need to warm up the skin. So to do so, I do like to use a cream again. And I'm taking just my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toast. So I'm literally only taking the smallest amount along where I want to bronze. And that's just along my cheekbones here. And I find that this concealer dries um, not really quickly, like not as quickly as Tarte Shape Tape, but to the point where I do it one, you know, kind of area at a time, just because I don't want any patchiness where it's dried down. So I'm just taking this Spectrum B01 brush. And blending it out and I know it looks super messy right now but when it's all blended together it looks really nice so once we get to this stage where it's like semi blended but not entirely I just like to go in with my beauty blender because that removes all the excess product that's on the skin and look at that it just blends so nicely so the rest of the areas that we're going to be taking that cream concealer bronzer is obviously on the other cheekbone and around the tops of the forehead. Yeah, so I don't like to take it anywhere on the chin, jawline or neck because I feel like it can look quite muddy. So I'll use powder bronzer later to warm up those areas of my face, which obviously you will see. So yeah, just using that same technique around the areas that I mentioned and you always want to blend upwards so when you lay down your you know cream contour in that line you never want to blend down because that's the line where it should kind of essentially start so you want to start where you laid it down and always bring the product up so as you can see I'm blending upwards so again, just blending this out on the forehead, making sure everything is nice and seamless. Um, I feel like this makeup is really good in a rush as well when you don't have long. Obviously it's taking me longer to do it right now because I'm talking through the process and everything with you guys, but it can take me probably about 15 20 minutes so like if you're wanting to go somewhere um but don't have like loads of time to get ready this is a really good look to do so if i don't mind saying myself this makeup looks pretty nice um obviously we're going to now set a little bit 
and for this makeup look I feel like you don't have to set everything so I'd recommend only setting your under eyes um, if you have dry skin just because um, your under eyes will crease a little bit it's natural everyone's does so to avoid that just add a little bit of powder if you have oily skin obviously it's completely up to you in the areas that you get oily so I remember when I used to have oily skin before my skin type changed um, I used to get really oily on my cheeks chin and forehead so I would definitely set all those areas if you have oily skin but I kind of have normal skin now so I can have dry patches sometimes and I can get a little bit oily just in the middle nothing really happens too much so I'm just going to add some powder under my eyes to stop the concealer from creasing around my nose because I feel like that's where makeup tends to wear off the quickest and just a little bit on my chin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my Laura Mercier loose setting powder and what I really like to do at the moment is like, again, like I said with the concealer, less is more. So what I do is I take a little bit in the lid of my powder and kind of put a little bit on the tip of my beauty blender so that it's like that. I have a hair tie around my wrist and I only just noticed. That's so rude. Okay. Um, and what I like to do is just tap off the excess onto my hand so that the powder is really nice and even and there's literally nothing barely on the sponge except enough to just set it in place like so and my concealer hasn't really creased since I was doing the um cream bronzer which is nice so I didn't have to blend out any of those extra creases so I'm just going to set under my eyes with that technique and just pressing that into the skin and if you feel like you need more powder absolutely 100% go for it but I feel like just use the amount that you think you need you know don't go in with loads of baking and all that stuff because that's when your makeup can look really cakey doing the same on my chin just to make that matte and then once I get to the end of kind of the areas where I'm setting I just take what's left on my hand I don't dip back in okay so for bronzer now um, I'm just going to be taking the Becca Chloe and Malika BFF palette I think this is the Chloe one because I think it's the lighter one of the two so what I do is I'm just taking some of that bronzer on um, a Morphe M527 brush and I feel like Becca products, like skin products, are really really ideal for summer because they're very lightweight, their powders are really finely milled and they're just really pretty on the skin especially when you're not wearing foundation. So I'm just going to take the smallest amount and I'm hardly putting any pressure on my skin and I'm actually putting the most amount of bronzer like down my neck because I really want to look like I have a tan I'm not gonna lie get me away and then what I also like to do is just take like a smaller um, blending brush like an eye crease brush and just put a little bit of bronzer in the crease as well and like down the sides of my nose where we laid that cream earlier okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I am gonna do really natural looking brows just to go with the look like my uh, my natural brows are already pretty full um, so I'm lucky in that sense so what I want to do is I just want to fill in the tops of the arches here where there's a little bit of sparseness and I feel like this Lime Crime Bushy Brow pen thing is the absolute best for doing that because you can just mimic hair like strokes. And then I'm just going to add some clear brow gel. This is the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I like the one from Benefit as well. Perfect. Natural yet 
full fluffy brows. Okay, so now this is something that I've recently added into my routine um, that I feel as though just adds a little bit more like light and glowiness to the face but also ensures that the makeup lasts. So I'm just taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder which is a pressed powder but it is quite unique in the sense that it adds a glow even though it sets which is amazing. So now we're going to do highlighter first because I always do bronzer, highlighter, then blush just because I feel like the blush seamlessly blends everything together. So I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to melt everything together first. And then what I'm going to do is mix two highlighters today. So I'm going to take get it popping from the Rachel Leary and Makeup Revolution Goddess on the Go palette. I'm going to lay that down really precisely right on like the top of the cheekbone. So where I think the light would hit the cheek the most. And I like to use little circular motions because I feel as though it blends it really nicely into the skin. And then for the rest, I'm going to take the Estee Lauder um, Heat Wave, I think it is. Yeah, a 01 Heat Wave Highlighter, which is so stunning. Like, can you see this packaging? And the print on it as well. Like, obviously I've ruined it a little bit. But wow, absolutely stunning. And I'm taking it on the forehead. On the rest of the cheeks, just really mixing it in. A little bit on the cupid's bow, like that. Place it right in the center of the nose here. And I used to put my highlighter all the way down my nose and then do a dot on the end, but I actually prefer just doing like the littlest amount there now and on the tip because I feel like it looks more natural as to where the light would hit. Then I'm just taking a pencil brush and taking that same Estee Lauder highlighter and blending it into the inner corners. Just because I absolutely love an inner corner highlight. And a little bit underneath the brow bone as well. And then finally for blush, I'm just going to take a little bit of Sunkissed from the Rachel palette as well and just really blend it between that bronzer and highlighter that we laid down and I like to take it right up on my cheekbones here like so and then what I like to do is as I said before just kind of run it along the sides of my nose because it adds the kind of effect that you've been in the sun and that you're a little bit sunburnt. Obviously if you actually are sunburnt like you probably don't have to do that step. Um, like if you are doing this makeup on holiday or something. Perfect so the skin is all done. So I'm just gonna show you how I do my mascara for a really hot kind of summery day to make sure it doesn't budge. Okay, so what I like to do is curl my eyelashes first. So because it's summer, you definitely, definitely want to be going in with a waterproof mascara. Um, I know loads of people say, oh, it's such a pain to get off and oh, I just can't be bothered to get a waterproof mascara. Honestly, just buy an oil-based makeup remover and waterproof mascara comes off just like normal mascara. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes one, but I also highly recommend the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot waterproof mascara um, if you can't afford or have access to this. And I learned this trick from Alice T on YouTube, so I can link her channel down if you don't know her but like you you should know her like you definitely should know her okay and so to finish it off i'm just gonna add some all nighter setting spray before we do our lips so i'm gonna take the mac 
nice and nice and spicy um, pro long wear lip pencil. I'm just lining my lips. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm going to be taking the Dose of Colours collaboration with Desi Perkins and Katie in the shade Hey Girl. It's just like a really nice peachy, peachy pinky nude. Perfect. And then you can leave it there if you want. Or I'm going to take a gloss as well because it's summer and I feel like, you know, we should have some glossy lips. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Paris Dazzle Lip Gloss, I think it's called, in 210 Disco Ball. Oh my god, look how nice that is. Stunning! so stunning so that wraps up this look i hope you guys like it i love this look i wear it all the time like it's literally my go-to makeup now and i'm so glad like i've perfected my no foundation makeup routine especially for the summer in time for when i go away um so yeah super glowy let me know if you guys liked any of the tips that i gave in this video for getting a really flawless finish to your makeup but yeah um if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up just to make sure that i know i'm doing something right and comment down below um subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and yeah enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching love you guys i just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried